Hey guys, how you doing? Sound here coming at you with a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, take an old CD of yours, or a new one, and transfer it into an MP3 file or an MP4 file so you can throw those on to your iPod, iPhone, or your Android device. And listen to it on the go without having to bring a Walkman or in your car. Alright, let's get it started here. First of all, you're going to want to throw your CD into the tray. And it'll start up automatically, so you don't have to do what I'm doing. But if for some reason it doesn't, go to your start menu and then go to computer. Find the DVD, RW drive, audio CD, double click it. And it should bring up the little player here. So it'll start your CD. Uh, you just want to want to click this little button here, rip CD. Press that little button here, and it should start going. Um, you could press this button to see the progress. And you'll notice how shows all the songs here and what this is basically doing is transferring into the uh, mp3 mp4 files so it is possible for you to uh, throw onto your device and I'll be back when uh, the download here is done alrighty cool guys the download just finished here and as you can see all the check marks will be gone and it'll say ripped to library here you can just uh, extend it if I can or not. Oh, okay. Well, it says rip to library. And depending where it goes, usually just goes to my music or it could go to your desktop, but you should be able to find it pretty easily. Pretty sure the, de the uh, default, sorry, <laughs> default location goes right to your music and it'll make a whole folder like I already did ACDC before. Now we've got some ZZ Top. So we just double click that, double click this, and as you can see, it's all transferred into these little files here with a little music note on it. And that means it's ready to go. So then what you want to do is uh, grab your device. And I'll explain Apple first because I'll have to grab my Android. But for Apple, what you're going to want to do is open up iTunes, connect your device. And um, as soon as you get onto it, you're going to go to uh, My Library. And when you get to My Library, you're going to keep this little tab here open. Throw it to the side. Maybe make it a little skinny or whatever and then have iTunes over here and you can actually just click and drag all the songs in because they're in this format click and drag all the songs into your iTunes library and then from there you can actually just go ahead and sync it to your device so that's the way with the Apple um, if I'm missing anything please let me know in the comments down below and uh, let me just go grab my Android and I'll show you what to do alrighty so now that you've got your Android what you're going to want to do is uh, plug it right in to the computer like you normally would to sync photos and um, on your Android device actually I should mention a little thing should come up on the top and it will say um, connected as a mo media device touch for other USB options you're gonna wanna press that and just make sure it is as a media device it'll say like MTP in brackets not the camera because the camera will be allows you to transfer photos and the media devices allows you to transfer media files such as music and uh, videos so make sure that's clicked and then you're all good so just like in the uh, Apple version you want to keep this to the side and uh, go into your computer and if your device is there it should be right here and uh, if you have an SD card you can put it on there or you can just put it on the phone itself I like to throw it on the SD card and then you just go right to your music folder and if you don't have that you can make a new folder and it'll come up but most of the time it'll have a music folder unless you deleted it for some weird reason in that case there will be for sure one on your phone itself anyways uh, go to your music right here and you'll see that I have all of these uh, ACDC songs already on it so you just grab this click the top one hold shift and click the bottom one. Oh yeah, sorry. Hold shift. <laughs> I held control. Hold shift. Click and drag them on in there and it should say copy. And this little pop up here. And waiting, waiting, waiting. takes a little longer depending on how much music you want to transfer and there we go there we have it it should all be on here and you can scroll down just to make sure what I would though recommend doing is changing the names here from like 06 pearl necklace 05 
that's just the song number on the CD. Go ahead and uh, rename them all to uh, just get rid of this 07 so that doesn't pop up and uh, screw up your music library. But yeah, anyways guys, that's how, that's how you do it. And you're probably going to have to do that as well for your iTunes is rename them just so they fit what you like. So thanks very much for watching guys, and as always leave all your comments in the comment section below and if you enjoyed it, I really appreciate it if you subscribe or like my video, it just makes me want to keep posting more, and um, if for some reason I missed something in this video for the apple, I would really appreciate the comments in the comment section below so I could explain myself in there. Anyways guys, have a great day, have a great night, whatever you're doing, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Sound out.